Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more caster Muse in Rock Star League. This is the decider match for Group D in the round of 32. The two players that we have left here are Hyun in the top left, and in the bottom left, we have Scan. So, should be an interesting game. Uh, I Hyun, I think, is going to probably play some cheesy, aggressive stuff. He's generally pretty cheesy in Zerg versus Terran, so we're going to see if Scan is able to block that, if it ends up coming. Uh, but, of course, we have just started here on Vermeer. And it's going to be a minute before we get that action going. So, guys, thank you once again for checking out our Tosis cast. If you'd like to support, there is a Patreon link that is down in the description. So, you can definitely check that out. Thank you very much to everyone who has already supported. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Now, <clears throat> so far, I think Cast Music and Rockstar League has done... Uh, a, 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 it's been an excellent tournament so far, but we're only in the round of 32, right? The round of 16 is where we get above the best of one. We're already cutting out some of the weaker players. We've definitely seen a few players where it's like, okay, I mean, maybe a little bit weaker. It, the game's not as high quality. Like, for instance, uh, Shao Shui in this group, right? He, a little bit weaker. You probably see some other players a little bit weaker later on, like myself. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, there are some players that I'm really hoping will get through. Like, for instance, Scan. I think Scan is... A ridiculously strong Terran player right now. I think in the next year or two, he's going to become a mainstay uh, in ASL uh, instead of just an every now and then guy. So I'm kind of hoping he can take out Hyun here, but we'll see. Hyun is definitely very tricky. Uh, I've actually gotten to play against Hyun on the ladder quite a few times, uh, and there's definitely like some very tricky, cheesy things he does. Like It's not unlikely to see him do things like Mass Lurker. Uh, but, again, we'll see. It looks like a regular two-hatchery timing. Normally, this does go into Mutalisks. But Scan, very, very strong against Mutalisk openers. He does have some interesting Valkyrie rushes that we've seen out of him. Uh, but, of course, that can be a double-edged sword against a player like Hyun. If he does end up doing something like a Lurker opener, and uh, you're going for Valks, you're basically going to be dead at that point, uh, unless you spot it in time. So the double depot here for Scan, just pumping out a couple of Marines. Very late scout coming out of Scan here as well. Uh, that's interesting. I, I We saw him actually do that previously against Yabsab as well. Uh, on a four-player map to scout after Barracks, it's not very common, but you can see he's definitely got an optimized build here. Um, he gets up and actually sees the hatchery finishing, so he knows that he can start his command center. But like, what if, what if Yun is over here? I wonder what he does at that point. Does he just... Does he throw that down? Uh, if Ling's come, <laughs> is he just in uh, some big, big trouble? Not not entirely sure, but an interesting uh, development. Always fun to watch a Scan kind of grow and figure out some new things that he likes. Now, this gas is incredibly fast. I think he's going to be doing a Valkyrie rush here. Nope, never mind. Engineering Bay. Okay, so... Uh, I believe Scan actually did not get into the main base there. Am I correct? Yeah, I, I think a drone actually blocked. I was kind of busy thinking about some of the other things going on here. But um, if it's a three hatch play, the quick plus one is kind of standard and kind of what you want to do. But this is a this is called 2.5 hatch. This is actually a two hatch retiming on the layer, and then you get a third hatch quite quickly uh, in your main base. So Scan is not entirely sure of what this is, and in fact, I don't think he's going to be able to get up to see it. So the question will be, uh, when is he actually going to, or <clears throat> excuse me, how many uh, barracks is he going to get? Because we see the Academy going up, so he's going to have scans in time to figure out if he needs missile turrets or whatever. Uh, there is the Spire coming up. But is he going to go for four racks play, or is he going to go for five? I think it's going to be a four racks. That's pretty standard against two hatchery. And 4x plus 1 can be a very strong build. There is the possibility that he runs over uh, Hyun really, really quickly. But, of course, we have seen some some strong plays against stuff like that. Uh, if you remember a, a previous match we had where it was Fengji, the Chinese sir, going up against Ample. Really did a great job of kind of controlling uh, a marine pressure type of play, which is what this is going to end up being. Now, bear, uh, Bunker coming down for that defense. 
Stim is already on the way. Should be throwing down the commsats pretty quickly here, I would say. Like, after these two SCVs, he really needs to make the commsats. So let's see if he goes for that. No! Skips it. Wow! Scan is actually playing pretty much in the dark. If this, like, if there was a Hydro Den on the way, he could be in some serious trouble. But he is skipping those scanners for a really long time here. Excuse me. There's the scanners going up, but of course, you're not going to be able to check before you start your turrets. Or you're going to be in some big trouble. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Scan's... Okay, it's a turret. <laughs> I thought he was going to start a fifth barracks. So if he started the fifth barracks with the mutas already being made, that that could have been like a game-ending decision uh, because he's just going to have a bunch of building barracks and mutas flying to his base. But he is starting the missile turrets. Looks like just in the nick of time. Throws down a turret at the natural here as well. And yeah, okay, so this is looking good. He Like, he is going to have his initial defense, which is so, so important. The mute is going to fly down and see, okay, there's nothing to do yet in such a small number. It's getting six here. You do need seven to start one-shotting SCVs. Uh, <clears throat> and there's the seventh. So that's what he's waiting for, and time to go in. Well, with the Marines already standing there and the turrets as well, not really finding too much damage here. Or really any so far, except that onto his mutalisks. Great defense. And look at this. This is highly uncommon. This is incredibly uncommon. This is such a wide open base. No one ever takes that as their third base on this map. So I don't know what Hyun's plan is with that. But already, Scan is pushing out with his Bioforce. And he's got plus one attack. He's got range. He's got stim. This is a scary group of units. These mutas have to turn around. There's like one creep colony. That's not going to do anything. His mutas have to come up to fight. Looks like a lot of mutas are being made. Zergling speed on the way, but that's not really going to come into play here. Single sunken. Okay, well, with all the mutas coming up, he should be able to hold this. But this base could get killed easily. Scan looks like he is going to check for it. Wow. I'm actually... All... Okay, see, we had a scan here. This is a common third base. So he actually used his uh, commsat to check out on that. Now, more Marines come up in... Oh my god, Hyun getting very punished right now. Uh, a lot of damage onto his mutalisks. Still microing nicely. He's actually starting to reduce that marine count quite a bit. If he can save this hatchery, that's going to be really big for him. But if he loses it, Scan's going to have a huge advantage. And it looks like he will just barely save it. Or just barely not. Oh my god, the mutas just all fly <laughs> falling. This is not what I expected to see. This is not what I expected to see. <laughs> Uh, pretty big deal here. The mutas try to come in again. The marines just getting so much damage done. Almost one medic per marine. Their own private heal squad here. And that hatchery is going to fall. So now Hyun is incredibly far behind. He's down 11 workers. He's lost his third. He does have three hatches still. But he lost most of his mutas and he's done no damage thus far. The factory just finished up for scan. Everything looking his way. It's, like, impossible for me to imagine, like, at this level, how do you come back as Hyun? He's still trying to remove this group, but the reinforcements continue to come up. He does pick off some of the reinforcements, but loses another Muta as he flies down. Now, Scan probably should not attack this Sunken right now. The only thing that Hyun can do is make units. So as long as Scan is slowly but surely building his economy, his tech, and his macro, like, there's not much of a way for him to fall behind here. The mutas come down, try to fight once again. We might actually just see a GG. And that's it. Scan advances to the next round.